All right, I looked it up. 1878. 1878 is the first time that the Supreme Court was called to convene at the behest of a requisition for a ruling on the First Amendment and constitutional authority of the United States government over the free practice of religion. They met over the issue of polygamy and human sacrifice, or at least polygamy. Human sacrifice might have been introduced as a part of a corollary. Seventeen seventy six, eighteen fifty seven. Sixty years. That's how long America was a Christian country. For sixty years. It wasn't. It took sixty years for the Supreme Court to decide that it had authority over the Constitution. 60 years they were allowed to interpret the Constitution as were actually allowed to make decisions. Now, it doesn't matter if I agree with polygamy, I don't, but it doesn't matter. 1776, U.S. Constitution was signed, like the independence, blah, 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 we have a Constitution. First Amendment says you will not in any way prohibit the free expression of religion and um, the Supreme Court 60 years later said yes we will I'm, I'm pretty sure though that the Supreme Court ruling from 60 years later in honesty though was only to say you are not allowed to break the law in order to practice your religion because we already have a communal law practice I, I will go that far because I'm patriotic. I'm not going to say that, that, that you're not allowed to say you're not allowed to have 19 wives and kill them if I want to. But for 60 years, the entire country said the Supreme Court's not even allowed to talk to me about religion. And that was just, you know, the years that it was founded. Because they went to war thinking that God said they were allowed to. So for 60 years, at least, for three American generations, not a single person said a thing about whether or not you were allowed to be whatever you wanted to be because we survived. So, like the Nicene Creed and all that, a lot of those, that, the, all those creeds come back from when there was no Bible and we just needed a bunch of people to agree with each other, yada, yada, yada. That's to start a denomination and uh, start a discourse with people so that you can make statements and protestations. I don't need to do that. No one needs to do that. You, if you're Christian, you can simply say, I believe in the Bible. The Constitution is written to and for the Bible. The country was founded on the Bible. It says the word God on a dollar bill, and it's written about the God in the Bible. These things I know are true and accurate because I learned them in second grade. Anyone who says that God demands me to give them a dollar, pull the dollar bill out. Do you belong to this man? It doesn't agree with you. If you are going to be that pedantic and insulting to me, My dollar bill actually does not say that it believes anything you're saying. And I know that when you send anything to a collection agency, I lose 40% of the debt and only you go out of business. It says you should say please more often, but it only talks to me. I pray. Who needs tree preachers? I'm just there for when you walk up and say, hey man, I got this great new deal on it. Tell me more. Oh, I just want to see how far this trail goes. What are you offering me? Why? Because of bad service? Because of? 
Oh, I didn't realize there were so many problems in my city. Here you were trying to sell me something. Oh no, I'm not going to buy that. But I'm going to make sure that you don't exist anymore. Because you are a parasite. Glad we talked. Nice shoes. Nice shoes. You got, here you go girls.